you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday morning simulcast with Rom Wills. Live your best life. <laughs> Hey, y'all, check it out. You know what? Ultimately, the thing that everybody wants to do is live the best life they want to live. Don't you want to live the best life? Think about it. Do you want to be going through life depressed, full of anxiety, uh, full of fears? Uh, Do you want to go through life where you're worried about paying your bills or you don't have the money to maybe buy those shoes that will make you feel so fly. Now, I know, you know, I know I've talked about, you know, you want to have that happiness within, but, you know, you feel good. You feel good. You like walking in those nice shoes. Don't you want to have the money or be able to or be able to travel? Think about that. That's I mean, to be able to travel, be able to take care of your bills. Uh, have the love that you want you want to live your best life because you know i'm gonna tell you what so many people are going through it out here that they actually get used to mediocrity they really do they really do you 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 get to a point you're, you're all right you just you know what you just barely above water right you're barely above water you uh you know, if you you got some food in your place, um, you got you know you got some car to get you from A to B, and you know those those are good things. If it's if it's helping you like that, still be thankful for that. But it's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I want more. I want to do this comfortably. I don't want to have stress worrying about if my car is going to get me from point A to B. You know. Because I'm going to tell you what, one of the greatest things I feel, I'm just going to share this with you, is just being able, knowing if my car broke down anywhere, I could fix it. Or if it if I can't fix it or don't want to fix it, I can get another car right there on the spot. That That's good. That, that, that's living your best life. That's that's living your best life. Just being Just being able to go through life knowing that you can make your dreams come true. You could do the things that you want to do. You know, you can live comfortably. You know, it's like just spending every moment living big, living large. Right? And let me let me let me clarify that before somebody think, oh, well, hey, Ron, I'm just talking about just being all materialistic and stuff. No, but it's getting the things you like. Like I said, I'm gonna tell you what, I, the other day I was um at this mall in Delaware and they had um they actually had um, uh, like some Teslas on display. It was actually a store with Tesla on display, right? And I was like, I checked it. I was like, oh wow, I hadn't thought about Tesla before. In fact, my only quite only reason I haven't gotten into the whole electric car thing is, is just, well, well, for a while I hadn't seen any charging stations. I'm starting to see more charging stations now, so I'm like, okay, I can deal with that, right? Now I'm just waiting for them to have some charging that can you know, charge your battery in like five minutes. Whoever, if they invent that, I guarantee the electric car industry will take off, right? But I was sitting there, I was like, you know, I like being in a position where I can think about getting this car. Seriously, just thinking about it, right? And that's what you want to strive for. Now the key to living your best life is being the best version of yourself. Ha! <laughs> See, here, here's the trick. You can get the cars, the clothes, the mates, and whatever, but those are byproducts of being the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself was not meant to go through anxieties or to be depressed or to be sad all the time. The best version of yourself was built, built to live abundantly. And that abundance could be material or spiritual. You know, if abundance for you is living where you're able to laugh every day, laugh hearty every day, just have fun every day, shoot, that's your hey, phew, that's your best life. And there's nothing wrong with it. What it, it comes down to, whatever you want. Whatever you want. 
I want y'all to think about that. Think about that. You want to you want to strive for that, but to, in striving, being the best version of yourself. Like, look at yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, am I am I the best version of myself? I mean, you might not like your body or, you know, something like that. You might say, well, I got too much weight on. I need to put on weight. All right. Well, do what you have to do. Become the best version. You know what? You might have to You might have to go back to school. You might have to study some stuff. Be the best version. And the best way to be the best version is to learn, develop your character. You know, become a good person. Do what every spiritual leader in every spiritual system has said. As is, uh, you know, there's different versions of the golden rule as espoused in the Christian Bible. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. You know, are you treating people? Your best version of yourself isn't being doing mean and malicious stuff to people. That's that's shit. Your best version is being the best version. Cause you you get some people they they want some stuff. Y'all y'all see them. And they say, oh, this is me. That's like, no, it ain't you. You weren't, you weren't born to bother people or like to put them down or to be evil to people. You were born to be a light. Every single person got light inside of them. Every person has been, every person has been touched by whatever name you want to use for the uh, supreme being. You're all a part of that. And think about how powerful that is. That means that you're the best version, however you choose to worship God, did not create you to live a lackluster existence. Because once you understand, once you understand who you are, what you're supposed to do, like you're built. You're already built for what you're supposed to do for a living and the thing that will bring you joy. You're already built for it. You just got to find it. You're already built for it. you built to have the best mate. For you, you already built for it. From the moment you were born, you you got everything in there. But see, people get they get caught up. They get caught up, and then they get used to it. They get used to mediocrity or living poorly. To the point where some people even try to find a virtue in it. No, there's no virtue if you're not living your best. If you're not being the best version, like. Imagine what society could be if every single day, every single day, people are reaching to be the best person they could be. You know how powerful that is? Mm. Good grief. Good googling, moogling, bubbling brown sugar. I mean, <laughs> man, imagine if we're just doing that every day. If people like say, you know what? If I eat this particular meal, I'm not going to be my best. But if I eat this meal, I'll be my best. You know, if I get in this job, I, you will get my best. If I don't get it, if I get in this other job, you, you will get my worst. So imagine what type of society we have. See, I mean, it's, you know, it's definitely for you, but then you're helping other people as well. Because even a person living their best life, they can serve as a beacon for those who don't. You imagine that? And, you know, and that's, that's the thing. I wonder, I, that, that's the thing I want. I, want, I was like, look, I, I, want, I want to be able to get on the plane and just like go over to Ghana one day, you know? I could probably do it now, but got kind of busy. And, but I will do it, right? I will do it. I have the ability to do it now. Or, you know, um, or if I say, you know what, I want that Tesla. I'm go get that joint. You want, you want, you want to have the best. You want to be the best. You want to be the best version of who you are. And every moment, you got to do it. Remember, just remember this final thing. You were created in the image of your supreme being. For those who follow the Christian Bible, it says it right there. You were created in that image. So you weren't, hey, you, so that means you were created to be the best. Be the best version of yourself. And by being the best version of yourself, you can live the best life that you can. Always remember that. Always, always, always. So, anyway, that's it for this Sunday morning. As always, I want you, everyone, to keep rising and transforming more than ever. Take that in. It's more than just a saying. I always say it at the end, but that's what you want to keep rising to your best version, to live your best life. You want to keep transforming yourself 
until you get to that best version. So, rise and transform. Peace and blessings, everyone. Oh.